the uh, and what your vision was for the movie Creed 2 yeah. this time? No, I think for the, uh, this time around, man, we brought back some iconic characters. You know, I think for me, I wanted to make sure that the nostalgia was there, mm -hmm. that you got a piece of what you love about the Rocky franchise, and especially stepping into the Creed world, I wanted to make sure those pieces of Creed that you love that are in Creed 2. Yeah. But ultimately, man, you know, you find areas where you can put your stamp in there, man. I think when you guys see the fight sequences, you'll see a bit of meat in there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the personal stuff, everything with Bianca and, and Adonis and their storyline. And then obviously, it's, it's a movie about family and fatherhood, you yeah. know what I mean? And I think you'll be surprised at what you see in the film, you know, it's a, it comes from a personal place for me. And I think even for Tessa and Mike, we all pull from personal places to see how we continue this legacy. You yeah. Know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely be on the lookout. How was it taking the reins from uh, Ryan Coop? From Coop? Uh, it was cool, man. I mean, we went to USC together. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was like fam. You know yeah. what I mean? I think for us, it's important that we see people of color, black people like us. Yeah. behind the scenes as well and so to see somebody like him and Mike executive producing on it then me directing the film I feel like we just added to the movement you know mm -hmm. how about working with uh, Michael B. Jordan oh, I can't stand that dude <laughs> no uh, he's great bro uh, I mean what is there to say I mean he's, he's super talented um, like I said he wore many hats on this project as a producer he's hands on with everything which I love and he challenges himself. You know what I mean? He's never complacent, dude. Like, he wanted to make sure he was bigger in this movie. He wanted to make sure there was more meteor scenes where he could, you know, give it his all performance wise. And I don't know, somebody could easily be like, yo, this is part two. I know this character. I'm about to just chill and relax. But he was constantly trying to find ways to push everybody. You know what I mean? And so, I don't know. He's a huge collaborator, man. I had a great experience with him, man. And yeah, I'm going to definitely work on something else. And I mean, obviously, the movie has Sly Stallone. Yeah, I mean, Sly, and, you know, OG, and the classic man. Ivan Drago. And yeah, you know, I mean, how 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 is it in the legacy of Rocky, which is it's really a, an incredible franchise? Yeah, you know? no, it's a it's so real to have these dudes on set. I mean, this is the first time that Drago's came back as his character. You know, mm -hmm. and this is the first time he's found it as anybody. This is his first acting gig. So for him to come back and bring back this dude thirty plus years and have Sly there, you know, and, and to to. to to have a moment, you know, when we all step on set and you got like 2,000 people on their feet clapping and talking about yelling yeah. Drago and chanting Rocky, mm -hmm. that's insane, man. That yeah. feeling, just to be a part of the franchise and, and say my name has been on something like this, has been a blessing, bro. Now, if you, if you could get um, an artist in the ring with Michael B. Jordan, Adonis. An artist? An artist. What, like a rap artist? Yeah, like a rapper. Wow. Who would it be? Yeah. If I want to see a good fight? Mm -hmm. Now wait, are we talking about we want to see Michael B. Jordan or Adonis Creed? Because Michael B. Jordan right now, he's skinny. Adonis, Adonis Creed. Creed. But, Adonis okay, Creed. Adonis Creed. Uh, who would be an interesting fight? Who look like they got hands? Who's been working out? Like nobody, dude. Yeah, it's, it's kind of light out here, I've seen Wiz Khalifa in the gym a few times, oh, yeah. but he's small. I saw him trying to work out. Got a nice jab, though. But he probably does. Uh, 50 probably can't fight anymore. We'll see. I don't know what's okay. over 50. Uh, but he seems like he always ready to get into some trouble. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. I think probably you one of those two. Okay, 50 it depends, on, it depends on his weight class right now right. also, so I don't know where Mike is at right now. <laughs> Alright, it's all good. Man. I no, appreciate sure, your time. Congratulations. For sure, man. Thank you. Thank you.